Okay, so similar thing on the bottom. Um, in this case, I'm going to pull that just inside of my tangent lines and the edges. There we go. And again, I like to uh, give these a nice chamfer. So I'm going to do this again. But uh, this one on the bottom needs less, I find. So maybe I'll put a line right there and come up here. And again, I'm going to dimension that angle. So looks like about 10 degrees on the bottom. There we go. And then uh, here's another trick I often do to use to just make sure this is some, you know, is a mirrored image is you could put a line. Actually, sorry, you put a line in from the midpoint here. Just a little short line like that to you to mirror this thing over. And then if I hit my mirror tool, I can select first the, the mirror and then what I want to mirror. There we go. Oops, I sorry, I wasn't done with that sketch. And then I want to trim that again. I don't need that anymore. There we go. That looks pretty good. I like that. And so I will go and select it, make sure I've got the whole cutting tool selected, and then extrude it, remove, there we go. Say okay. I'm gonna go around that again. I'm gonna try to get all four of them this time. See if I can do all four of them at once with the point two. It's not letting me pick that. I could probably try and just pick this bottom face. It might. No, that's not what I want. I'll try that again. Maybe I'll click those first. Uh, now it won't let me because that is going to be too big of a radius. So I'm going to try and make it just a slight bit smaller. How about a 0.15? And click and see if it'll take that. Yeah, I've learned that you're, the, uh, the clicking matters sometimes. Uh, I'm just trying to do as few of these operations as possible, but I'll just do what I did in the last cutout. Do those two as their own and then do it again, do that and that as its own. No problem there. Do the side cut out here. Again, I drop a rectangle in here. Something like that. And I rotate up and I can see the buttons now. So you can see I missed this button down here by a lot, right? So let me hit escape and I can just go move that. There we go. And then make sure I need enough for that mute button. Go back down and then add those real generous. Um, oops, I need to do them from the outside here. That's right. Okay, and then I'm going to put that down, hit escape, and dimension it, the angle. What did I say? 40, right? There we go. And maybe I'll just mirror that over. Okay, and then go trim that out, that out, 